guys, welcome back. Today I have a special guest with me. This is Joy. <laughs> We're going to be doing a video today on easy, healthy life hacks. So we're at her house, which is why we're in a different fancy background, <laughs> and we're even using her camera. So if you like it, comment below and I'll have to buy it and spend all my money. <laughs> um, so Joy is a physiotherapist, full-time YouTuber now, and her channel is all about health, fitness, fitting <laughs> yeah. it around your lifestyle. Um, so definitely go subscribe to her. There will be a big box here. You can't miss it, no excuse. Um, go and subscribe to her, and also on her channel, check out the video we're doing together, which is gonna be a cooking video, which mm -hmm. I'm an awful cook. So if she can teach me to cook, she can teach anyone. But for now, let's get started on some life hacks. The first one that I've got is to do one swap a day. I personally cannot give up all sugar, start eating clean, no dairy, no carbs, all these kind of trends, but I just try and do one thing a day. So if I can have one less chocolate bar or swap my sugary cereal for porridge, and then you've actually made quite a big bit of progress. Yeah, I totally agree. It's so hard to go cold turkey. It actually goes a long way to make a mm. huge change in your yeah. life. Chocolate bar is like what? 500 calories? Isn't it's a it? whole workout. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Pretty much. My second tip is having fruit as part of your meal. And I feel like oh. fruit don't really get as much credit as they deserve. Okay. So instead of waiting to have it as dessert or having a dessert, you can actually add fruit to your meal to bulk it up. I like it. Yeah. I like it. And actually, fruit can be so nice. Yeah. When you have like a delicious strawberry or melon or something, it can be amazing. Yeah. Okay, so talking of dinner time or even lunch time, my next one is about portion sizes um, and I'm not super strict about measuring out how many grains of rice or whatever but if you can make it slightly smaller or I'm terrible for overcooking and then just chucking it all on my plate I yeah <laughs> so I find I'd much rather deliberately make too much and then freeze half or someone once said to me that you should leave a couple of things on your plate yeah and that blew my mind <laughs> like what I can do that what? really I don't have to finish my food <laughs> but when you realize that that it's I hate wasting food and you should learn to make the right amount but it's almost better that you don't just force it down yeah. so I either try and stop two thirds in and freeze the last third and realize if I'm not going to finish it it's better to freeze it or my favorite of all have a boyfriend with you <laughs> Because <laughs> that liberated me so much from like forcing food down. Now I just give it to Ed and I don't feel bad. He's really happy. He's got like a meal and a half. Um, something about the brain actually feeling that mm. if you have a smaller plate, it still kind of gets the same impression as if you had yeah. a bigger plate. Because it, as long as your plate is full, mm -hmm. your brain is probably thinking, I'm eating lots. Yeah. But actually, you're not. You're eating half. So the fourth tip we're going to give you is cleaning your teeth after your meal. Um, I I love this one because I've actually tried this so many times. Yeah, it works. And you were saying earlier, you know, we're talking about having savory food mm -hmm. and once you just clean your teeth, you're not going to feel like wanting to eat anything mm -hmm. really. So it completely just almost destroys your taste buds. Yeah, it's it buys perfect. you at least an hour of like, oh, I don't want to eat because I'm more minty. Yeah. Yeah, um, totally. Also, my toothbrush is, a, is an electric toothbrush mm -hmm. and when I'm cleaning my teeth, because it takes me two minutes before it vibrates, so when I'm cleaning my teeth, I'm like standing there thinking you know just reflecting and yeah. like you know taking lots of things in to the point where I don't actually feel like eating anymore mm, you so, forget yeah pretty much in fact speaking of number five is distract and delay so if cleaning your teeth for two minutes delays long enough that you actually your cravings passed that's amazing quite often I try and finish the task I'm on I'm like editing a video and I'm like okay I really want that but I'll wait until after I've edited this video or two more videos and by the time it, you get there yeah, the moments yeah, pass. Exactly. A lot of the time we're not actually hungry. It's like what your brain is thinking in that moment. Um, the sixth tip we have for you is walking after food or some form of mm. light, gentle exercise or yeah. activity where you're not just sat there thinking about what to have next. Yeah. And um, this is a funny story, but my boyfriend's um, family, we've got into this habit now of when we eat at theirs and stuff, mm -hmm. they've got plans for the kids to go for a little walk, uh, go for like an elf hunt, even when it's not Christmas. Oh, it's, and I used to hate it. I used to absolutely hate it. But now I can see the benefit because you've just mm. eaten. You just want to kind of just a gentle thing to do and yeah. you know you're outside fresh air and mine is about drinking water obviously drinking water great life hack anyway like be healthy it's good for your skin it's good for your body it's good for everything but it's also good for cravings because it's actually 
science that um, if you feel hungry you're often just thirsty yeah. and you'd be amazed how Absolutely. dehydrated you are so good for you anyway that's yeah. a great like life hack all round Absolutely. I feel like I need to learn to drink more mm. I need to drink more they say is it two liters a day it's so much I definitely don't drink that yeah but I need to drink more I actually saw a water bottle I'll try and find a link to it which had the cups written on it. Oh no, it had the times. Oh. So it said like 11 a.m. was kind of down to here, then 1 p.m. Oh, is down okay. to here, and you go round twice, so you fill it up oh, halfway through the day. Nice. And I thought that was really smart. So the eighth tip we've got for you is finding very short workouts that you can do mm. at home, anywhere. You can use apps that you can get for free, actually. Yep. I enjoy like finding videos that I really, really like, especially mm -hmm. like hit sessions, you know, the high intensity okay. ones. So you do it for like 10 minutes or seven minutes or times mm. even but they're high intensity and it's the nice. best way to burn fat and I just save them as playlists cool so, yeah so I just wake up in the morning sometimes if I don't feel like going to the gym just go onto my playlist just watch it and I really like the seven minute workout as well which is good because it's just like 30 second things and yeah if you can't spare seven minutes then you need to get your time management together. <laughs> so it's a good way to say to yourself like surely I can exercise every single day and yeah. you'd be amazed how effective the results yeah, are absolutely. actually yeah. especially if you're already like kind of in shape but you just want to like really get that last yeah. bit and you don't have time to do a big hour-long workout at the gym if you do the seven minutes every day it's pretty tough and speaking of the gym number nine we're almost there is to book something book a class yes. book a session with a friend book a personal trainer even if you're not going to a gym if you're just going for a run or if they're coming around to your house book something in ideally even pay for it yeah um, but just commit to something have a buddy to pair up with and then you're so much more likely to do it yeah absolutely Absolutely. Works for me every time. <laughs> and our final tip that we've got for you is exercise does not need to be arduous. Mm. It could be fun. Exercise is practically anything that gets your heart rate going, yeah. you know, gets your blood pressure up, gets you doing, and you can actually have fun whilst doing it. Yeah. So find something that you love. If you mm. love to dance, yeah, that's go mine. Go do dancing stuff. <laughs> do stuff outdoors, biking, walking, yeah. running outside. That might be your thing. Then you know, do that too. Mm. It doesn't have to be like depressed on a running machine some people love the running machines but if you don't then yeah, don't force don't it do that. but above all this doesn't mean to be high pressure I have eaten cream eggs for breakfast more times <laughs> than I can remember pizza pizza yeah and that's so cool too but if you can make a couple of swaps you're gonna feel better you're gonna feel happier um, and you're gonna live longer yes absolutely don't there's so much on the internet nowadays isn't yeah. there you know people going this is how my body looks now and but yeah. what you don't see is how much hard work and mm. how many years it's taking them don't compare yourself to anybody yeah just make the little changes that you need to you're beautiful as you are anyway so I hope that these have been handy hacks and now go watch our video on Joy's channel Yay. and we'll see you there. Don't forget with the thumbs up, the <laughs> subscribe, the comments, tell us what your favourite fitness hack is um, and thank you so much for watching. See you again next week. See Bye. ya. Bye guys. So if you want to see how we make this recipe, please keep watching. Shall I start? Yeah, you okay. start. It's your channel. It's my, <laughs> it's my channel. <laughs> it's your people. <laughs>